In this session, we'll see about command task. So command task runs a single shell command or starts an external executable program during the uh, workflow. So in this session, we'll see uh, how to copy a file uh, from one location to another and how to display runtime uh, details in a file using the command task. So we have a mapping uh, uh, which reads data from a flat file and writes it to a, a relational uh, table. So we first let's create the workflow. Naming convention as WF. task demo yeah and select the folder here finish so every workflow uh, it is mandatory to have a start event and an end event so I have a file called uh, store.csv in my target so first I want to copy this into my source folder here so so this is the path since uh, my informatica is installed on Windows uh, so I'll use uh, DOS commands here if you have installed it in Unix uh, you will have to give valid unix command or uh, shell script so uh, this is the command task so command task to copy the file okay and the command is so copy uh, the file from this location to this location so from target to source I want to copy um, so in Unix it, it would be CP and uh, from to location okay so next I'm going to create a mapping task naming convention is empty underscore Yeah. So here you need to select the mapping which we'll be using in this particular mapping task. Okay, and finish. For details about the mapping task, go to my other video on create deploy workflow. So here in output, I'll be creating three variables called successful which is a boolean data type so this variable it will return either true or false based on the mapping task was run successful or not and next is the target processed rows I'll say target rows and its integer data type this will give uh, the number of uh, target rows that were processed during the mapping task execution so similarly source rows okay so I have these three variables now I create one more command task and uh, use these variables uh, and create a file which will display the data of these variables okay so take another command task okay so if you see in the properties tab of the command task we have command where we write our commands and uh, these are the user defined variables that we created and these are the system variables and uh, if you check the input so input it has the 
day it is the data that passes into a command task from workflow parameters and variables so we can assign a command task configuration property to task input to define the value of the property in workflow parameter or variable so in output it is the data that passes from command task into workflow variables command task outputs include general outputs and command task outputs so in general uh, outputs we have start time end time and successful uh, start time is when was the command task started and or whether it was successful and um, this contains a uh, command task output contains the exit code so uh, it is returned by the command so on successful command uh, it returns zero if it was unsuccessful then it returns some non-zero value then this is the standard error message and this is the output message that is written and in advanced properties we have task recovery strategy which is either a restart task or skip task and here we can specify the working directory and uh, this is the standard output length and standard error length okay so now in my command task so I am going to write go um, mapping task successful so for the mapping task successful I am going to give the this variable and next is number of source rows processed so SRC rows and finally number of target rows processed okay so for this target rows this data will go uh, into my target folder of the mapping let's a uh, file sorry let's give empty mapping task status txt okay so that now the mapping workflow is complete let's check uh, validate this first no errors were found so next is uh, save this so now in order to run the instance of workflow we need to deploy this workflow you can find deploy here choose the domain in which you want to deploy deploy this and the service so naming convention is app underscore yeah and finish so now run the object select the workflow So if you check in your Informatica administrator, go to monitoring, go to the data integration service and uh, go to your application, select the workflow. So we can see here that it was completed, all the tasks were successful. So now uh, let's go check our target folder empty underscore status dot txt so it says that mapping task was successful 
true number of source rows processed 5 and target rows processed were 5 so you can even uh, check your log here So it says how many uh, source rows, target rows and other details, mapping task details. Thank you. For more, go to a to z informatica.blogspot.com.